Recoil Master Weapon Practice. It's an awesome CSGO community map that can help you practice your spray. It can help you practice your recoil on any gun in CSGO. And we are going to see how I do. Feel free to try it out yourself and let me know how you get on in the comment section. And also it will help a lot if you drop a like on the video. So the way that this map works is you shoot whichever gun you would like to use and then you step up to the plate. It's actually more of a circle. You step into the middle here and then, yeah, you, you just start practicing your spray. The thing that makes this map good, though, is that it gives you, like, a ghost hair. It's like the thing that you can follow to learn how to spray. It also shows you the exact compensation pattern that you need to do at the top on this wonderful LCD screen. Pick one up at your local supermarket for $299.99. There are also a bunch of other different options, but we're not going to look at them. The whole... <laughs> we're not going to look at them. The whole reason for this is to see how I do, see how I get along. I'm hoping that I don't do too badly. I think that I should do all right. And so let's get into it and start off with the first AK spray. We're going to get right into the middle where the ghost hair begins and then start it off. What I am going to do, I'm not going to follow the green dot because I'm, I'm just going to try and do it as I would usually do in a game. So let's do this in three, two, one. That's not that bad. That's pretty decent. Let's go over and check the pattern. We actually got two bullets or, or maybe there could actually be other bullets underneath those uh, those bullet holes there. But it looks like we had two bullets outside the circle and the rest in, in, in a pretty good spread. Do a cheeky reset and then try it again. Oh, this is... Yeah, there's... Oh, okay. So that's three now outside. I thought that was... I was about to say that's a bit better. Maybe as a percentage that's better. Like, these seem a bit close together. But then we have one, two, and then three. And it does seem to be that that is what I do consistently. Let's try again. Let's reset and see if it happens one more time. So, yeah, there's one. And there... What is it about me and just getting three bullets? Oh, no, this time it's just two bullets. Two bullets outside of the circle. I thought a third kind of popped off over there. Maybe I'm wrong, but I can't seem to get all of the bullets inside of the circle. Let's try it one more time, full concentration. It's, the, it's like the last quarter or the last third. When it begins, it's, the, it, it's kind of when the gun you need to go from left to right or right to left. I just miss it slightly, and this time, I actually only have one outside the circle, so we are making progress. Trying to learn the spray control patterns was one of the first things that I did when I came back to Counter-Strike with Counter-Strike Go. And so these days, I don't really ever practice spraying. I don't ever do this in my own spare time. But if you are still new to the series or you are not, you know, confident in your spray, go into an empty map, practice it against a wall, or of course, try out a map like this one. Let's try that one more time. Go for the best spray that we can do. Two. Oh, I thought that was actually better. But that spread... For these is really really good. I mean, it's okay. I don't, I don't know how it is compared to other people, but compared to how I've been doing uh, in, in the previous sprays, that is a really, really nice spread. And then we've got two outside. I'm happy with that. Let's move on to the M4. What we will do is try the M4 silence first, then the unsilenced, and then we will do a cheeky go with the Galil and the Famous. I don't... There, there it is. The Famous is down there. I almost lost it for a second. The M4 silenced is technically the easiest spray pattern to control. It's just kind of like, as you can see, down a bit to the right and a bit to the left. It's kind of like 10 bullets down to there and then 10 to the left. But I haven't used this gun in a very long time, so this could go terribly, terribly wrong. Anyway, let's see. I'm going to go full concentration mode for the first spray, and let's do this in three, two, one. That's not bad. Again, <laughs> that's pretty decent. So we've got like these three very, very close together and then three bullets, uh, what looks like three bullets in the bottom right quarter. We'll try it one more time. This time I'm going to be a bit more confident and talk whilst I do it. And we've actually got, is that one or two bullets that went outside? But once more, an okay spray pattern. Third time lucky, maybe we can completely ace it this time. We're going to go down and then a bit to the right and a bit to the left. And yes, we've managed to get all the bullets inside the circle. I'm not sure how good that spread is, but it seems all right to me. Let's move on to the M4A4. It is the unsilenced M4 and it is 
you know, kind of in between the M4 Silence and the AK. As you can see, the spray pattern goes down and to the right and then to the left and then to the right once more. So it looks kind of like this. By the way, you see those blue dots that are coming up? You just get those by pressing E on this thing here. So, oh. There we go, now it's turned off, and then if we turn it back on, the blue boxes come back. Three, two, one, let's go. Oh, okay, that is probably the worst spray that I've done yet. It's kind of like, I mean, it doesn't look that bad close up, but there was a lot of kind of like sideways movement, which is not good, obviously, if you're trying to track on someone's body, and especially if they're moving as well. Let's try that again and try to just not think about it too much as we do it. That's a lot better. That is... I, I feel that's better anyway. We've got a really nice kind of grouping here and then a few down in the bottom right. Let's try it a third time and then move on to the Famous and the Galil. That's actually probably the best one yet. The grouping there is very strong. Then one random bullet off to the right hand side. The spray pattern on the Galil and the Famous. Oh, we've got the very, very purple. Very, very purple. The spray pattern on these two guns is, as you can see, absolutely ridiculous. It's kind of like you need to put it down and then go left, right, left or something like that. All right, let's get it going on the Galil. This is going to be so ugly. I'm warning you all now. Oof. For a Galil, that's acceptable. That That's slightly acceptable. Kind of like quite a wide grouping into the circle and then a few bullets landing outside. Let's go straight into a second spray with this. And so down a bit to the right and then to the left and then to the right. Hmm. Okay. This is, this is, this is actually going better than I thought. We are going down to the left, to the right, to the left. Something like that. Down to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. There's a, there's a bit in the middle where it kind of like shakes a bit and I can't really get that down. That grouping again is okay. One bullet, two bullets landing outside. Finally, let us move on to El Famous. This is a gun that I really, really am not the biggest fan of. The spray pattern is really kind of weird. It's, it's like, what is that? It literally goes in like a little circle at the end. And so we need to go down kind of a bit to the left, a bit to the right, then properly to the left, and then to the right. <laughs> and then like some sort of squiggle to finish it off. Okay, let's try this. Ooh, ooh, oh no. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god. Yeah, that is that is really ugly. Let's just try that one more time. I'm going to go into full parlor concentration mode once more. Three, two, one. Jesus, I hate this gun so much. I hate the spray pattern. I just lose it completely when it goes off to, like, that left-hand side. Anyway, let's do it one more time for luck. Three, two, one. Oh, God. Yeah, I mean... That's maybe the best one yet, but it's still just... I just don't feel comfortable spraying this gun. Whatever. The Famous maybe just is not the gun for me. And everybody, I think that is pretty much all I wanted to cover for today. Let me know in the comment section what you think of my spray control. And definitely go and try it out for yourself. Pretty weird map. It's got like this room over here with random stuff. Unfortunately hurt this guy earlier. And look, we'll, we'll do the same to him. Thank you for tuning in and I will catch you in the next video. Peace.